How's it going everybody? Sean Allen here. Yes, this is a one take video, so yes, everything goes. I am really, really excited. I'm also a little exhausted for something that I've been working on now for a while. And I can finally share with you guys what's been going on. If you don't follow my Instagram page, I already gave you guys an idea of what's happening. So I'll just go ahead and announce this really cool thing that's happening here on this channel, the vlog series. So ever since I first started YouTube, you know, like my very first YouTube channel, which was the educational series, I've always had the idea of wanting to do something relating to like superheroes and comics and all that. And I'm like, when am I going to find time to do something like that? Because at the point when I first started, I was still in college. In fact, most of my YouTube career, I was in college. Most of the time, I was at CSUN. Well, now that I'm out of CSUN and at Universal, I have a little bit more spare time because I'm not doing a whole lot. So, I finally was able to come up with an idea for this series of videos that I really wanted to work on. And I can officially announce it. I kind of announced it already on Instagram, but... Here on YouTube, I'm officially announcing a brand new series coming to this channel. In fact, the very first video will be uploaded next week on Thursday, February 7th, I think it was. So, yes, it's going to be a new series all relating to comics. It's going to be called The Comic Corner. Now, you may recognize this area behind me. It used to be Professor Word's office back when I was doing the educational videos. Well, since I'm not really doing those videos anymore, you never know. He might come back eventually. I decided to give this area that was his office like a huge makeover. You're about to see that in just a second. But I'm going to show you guys the logo that I just created yesterday. And I know it looks a little funky here and there, but you know what? I think it looks cool because it shows you just the creativity that I put into this. And I think you'll really like it. So here it is. Once again, this is totally unedited. Oh, there's some things there. I'll get to this in a second. There it is, you guys. There is the logo for the new series, The Comic Corner. You can see a better version of this on Instagram at Instagram.com slash Films. And as you can see, this is actually a combination of DC and Marvel. A little bit of Boom Studios here. I'll get to... I'll, I'll just tell you guys what it is. So the C is supposed to be Green Lantern. This is supposed to spell a comic, by the way. The O is the bat symbol. This is supposed to be Spider-Man. This is the Power Rangers logo from Mighty Morphin. And this right here is the thing. With the word corner, I decided to make that one interesting by kind of doing a spoof of the word Marvel, the logo for Marvel, here, and I took out Marvel, and I just put in corner right there. So, yeah, I know, it, it looks very, like, shall we say kid-drawn, but that's basically what comics are all about. They're drawn, right? I know they're not, they're digitally drawn now, but back in the day, they used to be hand-drawn, so this was hand-drawn. I do have the actual page on here somewhere. Uh, oh, I, I found it. It's on the bed. Uh, and it's, uh, basically, I took a picture of this, uploaded it onto Adobe uh, Photoshop, and then I colored it in. There it is. That is the new logo, and it will be... Actually, the reason I chose a blue background is because I'm going to do blue screen, I'll add it into the video such that you don't see the blue, and it will be a part of, like, the actual video portion itself. So, a little bit of blue screen, green screen technology there on Final Cut Pro. Now, as I just mentioned, Professor Word's desk has gotten a bit of a makeover. I'm going to move a little over here to my left so you can see everything that's going on with the set. Look at this. <laughs> we got a little bit of everything here. So first off, we got Pokemon. Actually, no, let's start here. Um, a very special friend, friend of mine, her name is Addie. She gave me this. Uh, her friend of hers uh, drew this for me. She also got me this from the San Diego Zoo. Hi, Addie. And uh, yes, I wanted to add this to the, the, the desk because, yes, this is actually my working desk. So... Yeah, I wanted that to be a part of it, because it's a very special gift, very special person. And these are the X-Men! Yes, got the X-Men right there. That's actually a pumpkin I created over at uh, Hogwarts. Maybe someday I'll talk about that. This is an Amiibo. This is the 20, no, 30th anniversary of Mario, pixelated, so there you go. That's Mario. We have the Fast and the Furious cars. And yes, the, most of these are from Fast and Furious 1 and 2. We got the first DeLorean from Back to the Future. This isn't an award. This is actually my statue I got of the Matador from CSUN right around the time when I first... Actually, the last time I uh, was there after I graduated. So you guys should see the video where I got that on the Vlog Series YouTube channel. Here we have my Power Rangers display. And my God, I just realized how big it is. We have three really cool comics. This is the 2017 annual. This is the very first issue of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers from... 
Oh, I don't want to mess this. Oopsie daisies. That's okay. <laughs> this is from March 2016. And this is a variant cover. I really like this one a lot. I forget what the original was, but this is one of their variant covers. I really liked it. So that one was really cool. This is actually one of the original covers of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers back in 97, I think it was. 95, actually. So yeah, 95, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. One of the first Power Ranger comics out there. This is issue number two. And then we have all the really cool, like, Saban era Power Rangers right there. Mighty Morphin, and then we have the recent Power Rangers movie version right there. I was not able to put the Megazord up here with these guys because this is just gigantic. But I do have the Ninja Zords, the Thunder Zords, and of course the... I guess it's just a Megazord, basically. Then back here, we have a whole ton of comics. Literally, there are 12... 100 issues here, guys. 1,200 issues right here on the shelf. It's going to be 1,300, believe it or not. I mean, it's crazy to think, but yes, there will be at least 1,300 issues here at very, very soon, actually. And as you can see, these are all graphic novels. This originally took up maybe one bit of shelf space, maybe two. Now it's four. <laughs> I'm serious. Well, I guess in a way, it's actually more like maybe two and a half. But as you can see, this is all Marvel comics down here. These are all DC comics. These are all my graphic novels right here. All of them leading up to Superman, which is way down there. And it breaks off right about here with Doom Patrol. And then we got all Marvel stuff here. Got a lot of Marvel Knights. And I got Spider-Man. Plenty of Venom, Daredevil. A lot of the Marvel Cinematic Universe novels. We also have some figures here, including pop figures like Carmen Sandiego, the Daredevil figures, Batman, Robin, and Harley Quinn. Also, Harley Quinn Pop. I thought I had the box for her, but I guess I destroyed it accidentally. Then we have the Predator, Assassin Predator, I should say, and Aquaman. A good friend of mine got me that for Christmas. And then we have Wonder Woman, and then we have Pickle Rick! Up here we have the Batmobile Collection from 1966. We've got Batman and Robin up there, plus more figures and more Batmobiles there from the more recent movies. Now, I will eventually talk about my two favorite comic book heroes, but we'll get to that later on. Then up here we have the more, shall we say, interesting graphic novels and even the other really cool uh, comic books that I put up here specifically. We have the not Marvel or DC comic books up here. Well, actually, this is Marvel. No, DC and Marvel here, but a lot of these are not. Terminator, for example, the original comic series, I decided to put Arnold Schwarzenegger there with the Terminator, that's a T-600 right there. I decided to put the, my Star Wars movies here along with the Disney Infinity characters from Star Wars. They will eventually get switched around because I do have like the entire series of Star Wars, Marvel, and really just every single Disney Infinity character out there. I also have the uh, movie versions of the comic books, at least a few of them, and single issues. We have Star Wars, the, uh, the second movie, the Attack of the Clones, I have all the ones from Rogue One, Solo, and... Well, actually, Solo's almost done. I think I got issue four recently. Yeah, I did. And uh, uh, I just recently finished getting the Last Jedi ones. Then we have some of the Mar uh, Marvel Cinematic Universe movies, along with the Disney Infinity Marvel characters. I don't have every single Marvel movie out there, but I do have some of them. I do have all the X-Men movies, though. Minus Logan, but I will get that one eventually. Then all of these here, these are all of the really cool True Believers comics. I've mentioned about these before, because these are the comics that cost $1. Well, these aren't. These are Marvel Cinematic Universe guide, guidebooks, but all the rest back here are the, the True Believers comics, which all cost $1. Buck. And a lot of these are reprints, and I'm just going to pull out maybe oh, just a few. I also have some of the other ones for the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Uh, let's see, one of my favorites is, yes, this one right here, Amazing Fantasy Spider-Man. That's the very first issue that Spider-Man appeared in. Up next, we've got, oh, uh, let's see, who else should we pull out? Let's find Daredevil. I know he's in here somewhere. Well, that's one of the recent issues. Oh, where is he? Where is he? Oh, here he is. Wait, that's not it. What? Wait a minute. He got misplaced. Uh-oh, I think I might have misplaced it. Uh, I know it's on here somewhere, but I do have the original Daredevil comic book in here. It's somewhere in here. I thought it was right here. Oh, uh, maybe it's before Venom that I accidentally put it. Oh, wait, is this it? No, that's Silk Venom. Huh, I misplaced it. Uh, maybe my dad's looking at it because he's a big Daredevil fan. But I do have the original Captain America comic right here. I also have some of the Fantastic Four, X-Men... Wolverine, there's Black Panther, Ant-Man, here's a really cool one, the Avengers, 
That's the one where Captain America is first introduced to Avengers after a long hiatus. There is actually a couple of X-Men comics that are the, some of the originals. Like, for example, uh, let's see if I can find them. Here they are. The very first X-Men comic is right there. And we have, whoops, wrong one. We have the other one that was really famous when they brought back the X-Men with Wolverine and Colossus and Storm. That's it right there. That's really cool. I don't know what happened to my more, uh, my uh, uh, Daredevil comics. That's really weird. Like I said, uh, I might have to go through this again. I also have a lot of What If comics. There's some other ones in here. Yeah, those are really cool ones in here. So I have to go through these. I have to go through this again, see if I can find... Oh, here's a cool one. Fantasy IV coming up with Galacticus. That is really, really cool. And, yeah. So a lot of really cool comics in here. I really, really like it when they reprint the old comics because they don't sell those anymore unless they're in graphic novels like these. So, anyways, that's just to give you a little idea as to what's coming, guys. I will be talking about comics that I got, like, the week they are released. I'll show them off to you, maybe give you a little backstory, just show them off the covers. I won't actually go, like, into full detail what the stories are about. I'll just show you the covers and the reason I got it. And I'll also be talking about other things relating to comics, like maybe the stories, the characters, my overall impressions of certain comic books and even talk about the Marvel movies or DC movies that come out maybe other comic movies that are you know based off of other heroes and stuff like that so it's gonna be an interesting series guys I hope you join me along for the ride this is basically my official announcement for this series and it's gonna be a lot of fun the first few videos will be talk about like the first video is going to be like an introduction to the series, what you'll expect to see. Second, uh, the second video is going to be about my two favorite comic heroes and why I liked it so much. Actually, no, that's going to be number three. Number two is going to be about the two different stores that I go to in order to get comics. Then that one, the other one's going to be a number three. Number four, we'll see where it goes. But those are just like three videos that I'm just going to spoil it for you guys right there. And then we'll really get into some really cool stuff. I'll probably talk about some of the trailers that are released and all that fun stuff. And they're going to be produced actually released on Thursday, so that way it gives me a chance to edit in the clips where I show the different comics I got for that week, so that way you can see what kind of comics I get, and, you know, if you want to get those comics, you can get them yourself, and, you know, it's going to be fun. I'm going to have a lot of fun with this, so if you guys want to join me along for the ride, be sure to stay subscribed to this channel, the vlog series. I would really appreciate if you guys check this series out. I'm going to be putting a lot of work into this, and it's going to be my overall impressions and ideas and thoughts about each thing that happens, so I hope you guys don't take me for granted. I mean, these are totally my opinions. I don't have, I'm not like a spokesperson for DC, Marvel, Boom Studios, Image, Dynamic, um... Uh, Dark Horse, any of these other comic series, so or movies or uh, companies. So, anyways, hope you guys join me along for a ride. I really would appreciate it. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and yeah, <laughs> this is gonna be fun. I'm really looking forward to it. So, thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the series. The first video is coming out next Thursday, so fingers crossed that it's gonna be really good. So, on that note, thank you all so much for watching. If you liked the video, hit the thumbs up button. It's greatly appreciated. Be sure to check out my other channels, the Educational Series, the Design Video Series, and the Travel Town Series. I'm also on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. I will actually be creating a brand new Instagram page for the Comic Corner because I have kind of, like, done a little bit of Instagramming for the different comics that I've checked out, and I felt like maybe that's better suited for a different Instagram account. So I'm going to be creating a specific Instagram account for this series. So I'll have two Instagram accounts, not one, two now. Wow. <laughs> All right. See you guys. I will hopefully get you guys some more videos soon. Oh, this is actually going up on Saturday, this video. So by the time you watch this video, I'm at Universal Studios Hollywood filming the very first day of Lunar New Year. Yes, we are celebrating the Lunar New Year, the year of the pig at Universal. And it's going to be a lot of fun. It goes from the 2nd to the 18th of February. So if you're in the L.A. area want to experience it, go and check, come and check out the... Really awesome stuff and festivities of Lunar New Year at Universal Studios Hollywood. Most of it's taking place at the Universal Plaza, which is where they have Whoville, or the, you know, Grinchmas stuff, and the mazes when they do Halloween Horror Nights and all that fun stuff. So, yeah, I'll be there. More videos from Universal coming soon. In fact, next week I'll also have an update for you guys. Sorry for the lack of videos this week. I was just super, super busy. So, all right. Thank you so much for watching. And to seeing as they say in Hollywood, I'm actually in my studio. <laughs> my office now, instead of Professor Words. But don't worry, Professor Will will be returning. In fact, some of his stuff is still up here, but you won't see that in the videos. That, my friends, is a wrap. I gotta think of a good outro for the comic corner. I'm thinking about it. We'll see. Alright.
See you guys next time.